Yes, yes, welcome, welcome, welcome once again, yours true, a.k.a. Dave Nation, of all Dave Nations around the world. Anybody who's named Dave, this is your podcast. By the way, by the way, I just want to introduce myself, I go by the name, a.k.a. Dave Nation, I think you know already, but I just want to clear that up, and uh, this is my podcast, no word of a lie, this is all positive going around this podcast, this will be positive, I want to talk about a YouTuber, not just any other YouTuber out there on the planet who do their vlogs for daily, whatever, daily, monthly, day-to-day -day, uh, vlogs, whatever the vlogs are uh, on YouTube. These are video vlogs. These are people who have points to make and points to talk about. Um, now, this YouTuber doesn't need any introduction. I don't know if you people have been watching YouTube videos for a while, at least for a while. He goes, but he doesn't need any introduction, and I'm, I'm not joking about it. Uh, he knows he's any introduction. This is uh, this is sort of what I've, I take uh, heave about, and he's a very epic -y guy. He takes epic videos every single time. No question, I I've been uh, kind of dippered up on his videos as a while back, while back. But this guy needs no introduction. Um, let me introduce himself or his self. I'm gonna say that he goes by the name of uh, the Juggernugger known as Jesse, okay? A lot of people should know that name on YouTube. Um, he has very epic -y videos. It's like, um, how do you say, a very breadcrumbs. People like to say breadcrumbs on videos. I like to say it's like a venture. It's like an epic venture. At the moment, as of uh, January of some day in January of 2019, these are very epic videos. Every single time, everybody's... Um, uh, re making reactions of his videos, a large part not as negative things, but as positive things. <laughs> I come away on his video thinking, you know, these are epic -y videos. These are epic videos all around, by beginning and end, and, and they're very epic. Sometimes I don't want to watch the whole entire video because they last pretty long. I'm not joking, folks. Pretty darn long. Um, but not, nonetheless, uh, he's a very good guy. I, I followed his career very closely, and no word of lie. And I'm trying to, like any other YouTuber out there, I, I, I gravitate to a few YouTubers. But as of recently, as two months or so, I gravitate just a bit here and there. Um, but he does have a very good videos. These are very long views. I don't know how he edits all these videos, but I don't know if there's been edited in these videos. I'm thinking they're like production videos. They're sort of like production videos. And it just shows his, uh, how do you say, his, um, what's the word I'm looking for? His, um, uh, his uh, person as he is. Okay, I'm trying to think of the word right now. Uh, it, it, I'm lost in my mind. Anyway, um, he, he's just a very, he's just really good. He just day to day, he does videos like video vlogs. These are uh, videos with visuals, audio, and these are like, he has his own YouTube channel. And quite frankly, I do like him. And I meant to do his vlog, I meant to do a podcast for a while there. And I just didn't get a chance to. I just haven't got, gather a lot of information about, about his vlogs as of late. So I kind of, I kind of go on YouTube, see these YouTubers doing their own vlogs, their own ways of doing vl video vlogs, and they, they they kind of do the narrative. They kind of draw the narrative of every video that's out there. And sometimes they they kind of do the reaction videos right after the videos are done, and they do the reaction either through a good way or a bad way. And they're just doing reactions of what they saw in the video. Um, and they like to comment their own way, good or for bad. Um, it might help the video. It might improve the video. It might not help the video. It might improve the video that he's going with. And he <laughs> he has a lot of friends. A lot of uh, I I must say, if you're ever on YouTube, these people have subscribers. Yes, subscribers. I, I did say that subscribers. These are people that subscribe to YouTube YouTubers, uh, YouTube channels. These are YouTube channels. Their own merit, as I would say, own merit. Uh, they develop their YouTube channels, and they want to create videos, videos, content. As I always say, <laughs> back in my day, 
uh, you create content. You create content on your videos, no matter if it's weekly, monthly, daily, whatever the case may be. If it's daily, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Whenever you people on YouTube, on your YouTube channels, do videos, I'll see them. Whenever you guys do videos, okay? No matter if it's monthly, yearly, I'll see them, okay? No matter... You know, I'm not just... I'm not ranting over them. I'm just saying, people, if you have YouTube channels... Whenever you post up new videos, I'll get them, okay? Whenever it comes out, if it's monthly, yearly, or never, never no videos, that's okay. Whenever you guys post up a video on YouTube, I will get them. But that aside, this vlogger is a great vlogger. He's been doing videos for at least for a while, at least for a while. I don't know why, like almost close to three years. I don't know when he created his own YouTube channel, his stats, uh, his status on his YouTube channel. Uh, but he's been doing it for a while. I think um, everybody wants to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, be really, really, really uh, fond of his videos. He does really good videos. Uh, so once in a while, he does long, lengthy videos. And sometimes I don't want to watch the whole entire video. People want... Sometimes in my older, uh, in four or five years ago, I used to watch people's lengthy YouTube videos. Not to, not to be dis uh, display or anything, just the way they presented that. As uh, Some people have production videos. I mean, these are production videos. They have their own titles on their videos. They have like, it's like, a, it's like essentially like a TV show. And, um, and this guy... Uh, to me, he comes off really good. He has, he has many friends. I'm not. <laughs> it just, it just, I'm surprised everybody else. He has many friends on YouTube, and uh, <laughs> they're following along. They're doing a reaction after their his videos, and they're commenting on their own comment uh, YouTube videos. And if it's for good or for bad, it's it's uh, for me when I see the, his videos, I kind of, I kind of look at it as a really good videos because they're really epic -y. The word I look for is epic -y. They're very epic videos. <laughs> they really, really want you to keep your edge of your seat almost. Uh, and I'm not joking, folks. This is really... Uh, you just never know what he's going to do next. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm blown away by his YouTube video and his videos. Um, you just... there's Sometimes I like to say there's once in a lifetime that you get a, one of these YouTubers who come on their YouTube channels and want to create good videos. I mean, great YouTube videos. They have the production video going on. They have their own vlog video going on. Just right from the get-go, right from the start of the videos. They have, have uh, their titles going on. They have this uh, theme music going on. And I, I, I've been seeing YouTube videos at least since t uh, 2011. That's how far I've seen YouTube videos. And people do their production videos to beginning and end. They have their uh, their uh, their their theme music going at the beginning of the video. They have their big huge title, like a big huge title on their video, saying, "Okay, when they go into the the videos, they go that big huge title. You know, it's a production video right away. You know, it's a production video, um, and it's very epic-y all the way through. I mean, all the way through the video. And uh, me as everybody else on YouTube, sometimes." When life is not all that great, you go to YouTube, and people on YouTube, you'd be surprised at some of these YouTubers these days. You'd be very surprised, and it kind of brings a smile to anybody's face. I mean, as the world is today, uh, we have technology, and it's all thanks to uh, video, I mean, video terms of any camera that, uh, there's never a camera out there that people would spies on, you know. Video is what video is. Video, whatever form of video you do with, uh, through cameras, to uh, uh, to past videos, to any video, the world is saturated with videos. And when it comes to YouTube, YouTube is a video service, and I'm not just tooting my horn. YouTube is a video platform where you can post up your videos any given time, and long, long videos, short videos, an hour videos, ten minute videos to uh, two-hour videos, to epic -y videos, to the epic videos, to really epic videos like you want to <laughs> uh, leave them laughing kind of thing in a good way, not a bad way. Uh, they're not just teasing you about it. Um, in a good way, you want to leave them... It's like going to a movie in a the theater. You want to keep them really happy by the end of the film. Uh, it's a really good film. You want good reviews. You want 
all this sort of thing. And along comes a YouTuber, and they want to be very epic -y in their videos. They, they're really in the moment. They're, the camera's really going every single way of his life. I mean, every single time the camera's on, the video keeps going. Um, I, I'm like an edge of my seat in these videos sometimes, because the world is the way it is, the politics of the world. Washington, D.C. is the way it is today. They can't get their act together again. I'm sorry, folks, to say that. They can't get their act together again. Uh, but you get these people on YouTube, and sometimes a little glimmer of light. It's like a little glimmer at the end of the tunnel, and you, and you get this like this happy moment, this very happy moment. The world's not when it, uh, the world is not always bad. It's always good. There's that happy moment. There's a happy medium, as they say, happy medium. You got to get that, you know, that middle middle um, videos and stuff. But. Drunken Drunker, I kind of like him. I kind of really do like him. I'm not joking. I'm not... i put a fast one on him. He does great videos. And uh, <laughs> just recently, he's looking for... A, he's a first-time buyer. Uh, re recently, he's trying to purchase a place, uh, a house. And people, did I ever tell you how much houses cost? And I mean, really seriously, how much houses are cost? Wait till you see the price points of, of buying a house. First-time buyers, you'd be surprised to see the price. I'm not joking, folks. This is a uh, if you're if you're a first time buyer, a buyer, you'll be really. <laughs> I'm not joking. Be surprised at what the price point is. Uh, uh, this is for the first time buyers buying houses. Not just him on his own videos, but people in general in the um, world today. When people are purchasing places or houses, buildings, whatever the state case may be, they're in the uh, they're in the thirty five thousand dollar range, and this is no joke. It's just like, if you don't have the money for $35,000, wait till you see the price point. Uh, you'll be st your job will be dropping like you would believe. Uh, but anyway, enough said. It's expensive. I'll just say for anybody out there who's purchasing, uh, first-time buyers buying a house, uh, your job will be dropping. I'm not joking, folks. This is, you know, you need a friend to come with you just to reassure that this place is a good buy. And, uh... You know, sometimes that's always good because you're, remember, you're purchasing a big place, a big house, unless you win a lottery or something, and you're, you're good with that. Uh, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, you, you want to buy a good place you want to live at for your, you know, your, you know, long time before you pass away or something drastic happens. Uh, so you want a good house, good foundation, as they say, good fa house to live in, good foundation. And he's just, he's just, um, He's just doing what he needs to do. He just needs to do what he needs to do in the world today. And I just want to say that world is great the way it is. I'm just I'm just dumbfounded that life is the way it is today. I'm just saying, I think this guy has got it all in the bag. I think I really appreciate him, the way he does videos. I really do. I'm not... And every time I look at him on the video, he's just, <laughs> he's like a glimmer of light. Essentially, every time I see him on videos, he's like a glimmer of light. You know, it's just, you know there's something uh, something around the bend almost. Uh, that's going to be, you know, her, her, give me the hooray moment. <laughs> you know, it just, it just gives me a smiling face. It gives me a good smiling face to know that he's doing good in the world. You know, where everybody's doing, you know, not so good. Um... And, uh, yeah, I just want to, this is just a podcast for uh, this guy on YouTube who goes by the name of Juggernugger, who, Jesse, who a lot of people should know his name by now. Um, he, he's, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't want to go into other detail about him, but uh, uh, <laughs> these videos are very epic -y and I'm just, I'm going along like everybody else, and uh, I'm not just reacting to it, I'm just doing a podcast about it, and I'm just given the kudos where it needs to be kudos to too. And um, he's doing okay. He's trying to do his best in his videos. And the weather, what God gave to him, the whatever, to do a good video. And uh, he does really good videos, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to basically learn off these YouTubers. Like I've been saying for long periods of time. And since ever since 2011. And I'm trying to get some ideas like you, YouTubers would. And uh, there's tons of YouTube videos out there that people do vlogs for. Any topic known to man on this planet do topics about on YouTube. And they run topics like haul videos to the uh, um, to uh, review videos of products. You know, customers want to come and purchase. 
it, it runs the gamut. You'd be surprised at what you find on YouTube. I just want to say that to anybody out there. You'd be surprised at what you find on YouTube. Now, this is from, it's not for the bad. It's not for YouTube doing bad videos or anything. YouTube does great things. Now, if you're a customer and you want to buy a product and you want to find a review of it, you go to YouTube. No joke and no word of a lie. You go to YouTube and they'll tell you in the title of the videos the review. If the product's what you want. As you as, as you as, just imagine yourself as a customer, would you want to have it as a product? As you yourself want to buy it as a product. I'm just saying you don't have to buy everything on the planet. Even Justine tells you that this product is good. Not every product that Justine says, and I mean Justine. Urwick, he she goes on and on about her products that I think I think uh, at this point on I think uh, the co the companies themselves give them her uh, well give her the products for free. I'm essentially thinking about this. Uh, I'm just saying that I think that the companies do give her free products to review on, and that's okay. That's good. That's good. That's pretty good. Nothing's wrong about that, but. Um, she just reviewing the products that that the companies are handing to her. I don't know if it's if, it, if, if she's getting paid for doing that. I'm just saying not to laugh about her about that. I'm just saying it's good. Somebody in the world is taking serious about these products that are out there in the world. They're just out there on YouTube re reviewing them. The entire video of reviewing the product. And, and they'll give you the pros and cons, and uh, they'll give you if it's good product, or if it's a bad product, don't buy it. If it's a good product, you as a customer would go out there and buy it, kind of thing. Um, and you'll be appreciated about it. Like, if you go to Home Depot, and you're looking at Home Depot um, places, are big, huge Home Depot places. You can even buy a place, you can even buy a house with all these products that they have in, the, in Home Depot. I'm not kidding. They have everything known to man in that place. Uh, 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 they have everything that a home buyer would appreciate, essentially. Um, I don't know about anybody else there reviewing Home Depot products, but like I said, when I go in these Home Depot uh, places, uh, it's like everything and everything is in that store. Everything and everything you always want in your house to be. Uh, they have the pro they have the products, they have the wood, they have everything in that place. And uh, I'm not tooting my horn. I'm not like Alex Jones in quotations. I'm not ratting raid of them. I'm just saying, if you ever ever in a Home Depot. Just, you know, they have everything, everything um, that a homeowner would appreciate. Um, and uh, this is just a, a podcast about the juggernaut. And I want to, I, I have, I have, I, I basically want to do this. I basically want to do this because I've seen his videos for a while. And I, I, I just, uh, it's like every scriber that subscribes to his channel. Um, I begin to like his, ch uh, his videos because due to his epic videos every single time I see them. And I'm just amazed every single time. He has a brother, by the way. <laughs> Thank God he has a brother. But uh, I'm not joking. Uh, and his brother is trying to do the same thing as him. I'm not joking there as well. Um, I think, uh, I think, I think, you know, if you ever have a brother in your family, I think the brother wants to keep tabs on you, essentially. Uh, just make sure you do good in the world. And that's good. That's good if you have a brother or sister or uh, another, you know, dad, mother, you name it, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna steer you in the, the right direction in life. Uh, uh, no question about it. You know, when the world's not doing so good, they're gonna steer you in the right direction where, where this is uh, a good thing to do and this is not a bad thing to do. If you have a brother and sister, I think it's a good thing. I really do think it's a good idea to have a brother or sister to have in the family because they'll steer you in the right direction in your, in your world. It'll give you some pointers, give you some good pointers, give you some uh, ideas of what the uh, what you should be doing in the world, and that's that's really good. That's very good. That's very good, folks. So, like I said, um, this 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 podcast is all have to do with the juggernaut. I haven't I've been wanted to do this for a very long time, folks. I'm not joking, and uh, I want to give kudos to him. I'm, I I don't want to do this, but I'm afraid. Well, I shouldn't say I'm afraid. I just want to say that. I just I, I was mean to do this for a while, and I'm I'm just doing it right now. So, um, and he I just every uh, after his videos, people are reacting to his videos right after, uh, to what they saw in his videos, and just just the reaction, just the flipping reaction of it, 
Um, and he has a brother. <laughs> I think the brother is trying to steer him in the right direction. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. But that's good. That's good. That's what brothers are for in the, in the families today. Uh, they're trying to steer the other brother in a good way. Not a bad way, but a good way. And that's all good. That's all good, you know. They want to set their careers in a good path. Um, not the wrong way, you know, help them out in their lives and uh, steer them in the right direction, you know, where things are not always good, not always a bed of roses and everything. Um, brothers are supposed to help you out with your career and your life and career. And that's the old say. that's the uh, ups up in your generation to the generation to generation. If you have a brother or sister, they're supposed to help you out with your career if you have patches in your life. Uh, you know, they're supposed to, you're supposed to ask your brother, okay, is this what I'm supposed to get into? What career I should get into? Is this my career path? And should I take this career path in my life? Should I, uh, you know, is this a good idea? Is this essentially a good idea? And uh, th your brother will tell you if it's a good idea or not. And he'll, you know, take you, you know, steering in your right direction. And I think brothers are good in the families. Uh, they're supposed to help you out. They're supposed to help to take this career path, and uh, that's what they want you to do. Um, and they'll they'll give you like uh, they'll give you advice. Essentially, they'll give you advice. Brothers are supposed to give you advice of what your career sh should be like. And uh, I just helping them out. Every little bit helps, you know, in their career. Uh, even even <laughs> even the people at the uh, the White House, this uh, Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer or Donald Trump, you know. At the moment, they're trying to hammer out a deal or money on the table, and they're trying to get to the point of 60 votes. 60 votes. Why 60? I asked my ass, I asked myself today, why 60 votes? Could it be 50? Could it be 50? Could it honestly be 50? Anyway, don't get me going on that. Uh, but anyway, this is not that. The video, I, uh, I could easily uh, tell you that Juggernugger is... Is, he has a brother that steers him in the right direction where everything is kind of bleak sometimes. Um, where your life's not going out so good. Your brother will help you out. I mean, really help you out. You know, sometimes the world is uh, where, it's, where it's supposed to be. Your brother's supposed to help you out with that. Um, you know, it's, he's supposed to humor, hum, uh, what I call it, the humor kind of thing. He's supposed to humor you and get you in your right path of your career. Um... Uh, and uh, you always say to yourself, is this the right career to me to get into? And you kind of question yourself. And a lot of people tend to do that. They question themselves if it's the right career path to get into. And I would ask anybody, hey, well, you know, uh, you know, you just, you got to ask yourself, is this the right career path to get into? Is this what you want in your life, you know, for a long period of time? Um, and uh, Sarah Sanders, she's a bit angry, but she's a good person at heart. I can understand she's mad about the whole situation that uh, that uh, that uh, Donald Trump and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are getting in the Democrats. I under I completely understand her, but you know, you know, you got to persevere. As I always say to people, just persevere. There's always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. We all were. It's kind of like we dealt with cards that we've given. You know. The old adage of, we dealt with cards we were given. Uh, we can always have advice to our brothers or sisters uh, if this is a good idea. Uh, you know, sometimes we're be angry at a lot of things in, in others, you know. Um, I wish my world was great. The way I would say to their face, just persevere. You know, somewhere along the line, everything is going to get great. You know, you just gotta persevere. Long, uh, sometime along, long will come where there's a glimmer of light, a glimmer of light, the other light of the other tunnel kind of thing. Donald Trump and Sandy Sanders. I hate to say her name, but like I said, she's a little bit angry, like Donald Trump. They're gonna get through this. They're gonna get through this. It's like anything in the world. They're gonna get through this, and there'll be a time where. Uh, the world's going to be back. It's just it's just the rocky road. I said earlier, it's going to be a rocky road for everybody's life. A rocky road. You know, you're going to hit a bad patch. Oh, you hit a bad patch. It should not happen. Well, sometimes in the world, people are going to have rocky roads in their life. You know, it's not, it's not like they're going to kill each other or anything. It's just going to have a rough patch in their lives. And, you know, I would say to anybody, I, I'd be very po I, I would be the person who says things positively. 
Okay, there's going to be rocky road, but, you know, persevere, persevere. Be motivated. Persevere at what you're doing. Because, you know, later in life, you're going you're gonna to say, hey, what? You know, this is good. This is good. But anyway, I want to say thank you for joining my podcast. Hope you enjoyed this podcast. And I really did. I did, certainly. I don't know about you guys. I'll, I will post this on YouTube. And, um, yes, I'm very happy about everything in the world. I, 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 I'm, I'm much as angry as everybody else in the White House. But other than that, there's always going to be a glimmer of light. Just, just persevere. As I would say to people, just persevere. It's like meeting someone you really appreciate, you know. Persevere. Really be with that someone. It's like your soulmate. Persevere. You're going to get through this. Trust me. You're going to get through this. Like anything in the world, you know. Persevere. you got to persevere, okay. That's what I say to any couple out there. Persevere. Because it's going to pay off in the long run, okay. That's what I say to any human on the planet. Persevere. Because I know there's going to be a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. You know, there's going to be a glimmer of light. And we'll all be back together. We're all going to be back in a normalcy. And, uh, yeah. And I, I just want to, I just want to leave you with a, with a positive note. Just be happy, as my friend would say. Put a smile on your face, yes. And, uh, persevere. Pressure on. Move on. Or say, say the world. Uh, be calm. Pressure on. Kind of thing. Anyway. Enough said. Hope you enjoyed this podcast. Yours truly, a.k.a. Dave Nation. See you in another past podcast. Ciao for now, everybody. Ciao for now.